Hello everybody, <laughs> welcome to Let's Talk 44, Obama, no, Obama, Let's Talk, Let's Go, nobody gets that joke, Obama was the 44th president, anyway, uh, if you guys don't know what Let's Talks are, they are a series that I do, previously I did them every month on my channel, now I just do them whenever there's significant news in relation to either my personal life or in or in terms of my channel and YouTube, whatever, social you know, social media life. Um, yeah, previously this was a monthly series, but then it started being a situation where as I'm not focusing on YouTube every day of my life like I did in when I was in school and stuff like that when I was younger, when I was a spry young buck, um, they're just obviously, be there became less and less to talk about because I wouldn't upload, I would go entire like months without uploading it's like, what do you, what do you make a let's talk about? Hi, I, I wish I could make a video, but I can't and won't. Bye. It was literally just 30 seconds let's talk, so not a lot to talk about. But yeah, so now I, I, now I kind of just aim for whenever there's significant news, which there is, and hence why we are at number 44 in the middle of November. So I'm going to actually be a, like opposite here and start with my personal life before I start with my anything about the channel so personal life i explained in the last let's talk i think that i got kicked out of my dad i don't know if it was the last one or the one before last one. i don't know i don't i didn't watch the last one before making this one but as you guys probably know i think i've talked about it let's talk i currently previously lived with my father for the entirety of this youtube channel i think i got kicked out a while ago maybe like four or five months ago uh, I've been living with my mom ever since. Uh, I got kicked out because I wanted to switch employment from site construction, where my dad worked, to um, an environmental company. I guess that's, that's what you call it. And I, I break concrete. Uh, and I got kicked out for that decision. Uh, my dad's a weird guy, I know. But that's what happened. And, okay, so the big update there is my sister... She lives on her own and everything like that. Uh, she lives in an apartment with what? With her boyfriend. And as of late, her and her boyfriend has ceased relations or broke up, whatever you want to call it. So she no, she's no longer going to renew her lease at the end of January. Um, so she actually called me and asked if I want to, if me and her want to like rent a house together or if I want to rent a house with her. So, and I said, yeah, that we can do that. So, um, uh, end of January, early February, that's what's going to happen. Me and her are going to, I mean, we're already looking for a house, but me and her are going to start renting a house together, um, and combine our incomes and pay half all our expenses. So I, I'm, I'm going from living under my dad, living under my mom to being like, I guess, roommates with my sister not really living under my sister it's not like i'm dependent on my sister it's like i don't say codependent or anything it's just i pay half she pays half compared to like now i pay 200 rent and that's it and i didn't pay any bills under my dad so it's like it's 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 somewhat independent and by it actually is i would say it's all it is is roommate with but the roommate so happens to be my sister um it's not like she's taking care of me is what i'm trying to say so i well, I want to say be living independently, but I'll, I'll be independent, but with a roommate. It's weird to explain, but you guys know what I mean. God damn it. Fuck. What? I, I start recording and all of a sudden there's fruit fly, fr fucking fruit flies in my room. Okay, so that's the biggest personal news is that in the end of January, February, early February, I will be moving. Also, don't not sure if you, how many of you guys know this. February is my birth month. February 21st, uh, I'll be turning 20. I'm so old. Um, this is a hella tangent, but this channel was created on August 26th, 2016. So, let me think. It's been five years now. God, I'm so old. Yeah, four. Yeah, it's been over. So, this channel is already over five years old. I am so old, dude. I'm 19, going to be 20 next year. So, I created the channel when I was, what, 15, 16? God damn. Young, 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 young. Okay, but... I would say that's the biggest news, and honestly, I have no clue what that kind of entails in terms of YouTube content. Like, for example, I'm I in my current living situation, I honestly have a lot of time for YouTube, kind of. And what I mean by that is 
time that I'm alone and no one else is around because I like to record my videos in private. Not that they're super secret or anything. I just, it's more, I'm most comfortable, like, if there's nobody around in the background. That's just me. Um, compared to my dad's house, he would always be around or we'd be working together and then come home together and I'd only have time to record on the weekends, something like that. Here, um, they work on weekends, the, my mom and her boyfriend, they work on weekends um, and they have Mondays and Tuesdays off and then they come home so late that they're not home when I come home from work. But the issue is is that I'm very tired when I come home from work, so I don't really focus on YouTube content. So there's that. But I don't know this with this new living situation with my sister. I don't know how, I don't know what the free time on that is, because to be honest, like we work at the exact same job, so we're going to be coming home close to the exact same times. And then she's like how I am, where we just kind of stay home all the time. So there's not going to be any private time, sort of. So that's very depressing. Um, you know, she's going to be around on weekends and stuff like that. I can always record in my car if I really want to make a YouTube video, something like that. But not a lot of private time. Also, have no, But I can also record videos in the closet, something. I. It sounds desperate, but I can work something out. It's okay if I want to make videos. Anyway, so I'm going to move on from that section of this video from because that's like the biggest I would say that's one of the biggest things in my personal life if you guys want to go into a really personal life um I have a witness subpoena so I have to go to court on the first time uh, I'm not gonna go into any literally any more details about it but I have a witness subpoena so I get to go to court on the 7th of December first time I'll ever be in a courtroom hopefully I don't fucking get stabbed or nothing I know that's not how courtrooms work but you know what I mean Okay, uh, I think, oh, and I'll, I guess I'm dating someone, but that's not, hey, that's not here or there. Anyway, actually, you guys might have met him before. You, if, if, if anyone from the audience remembers Malik, I don't know if he was in any, any, in any videos. I remember he was in a couple Minecraft worlds. I don't know if I ever made videos on those worlds, though. Um, that guy, yeah, me and him are a thing now, again, again. This is like the third go-around with him. But anyway, I have a massive hickey on my neck. Anyway, what a scarf. Okay. Um, so that's moving on from personal news, getting onto more channel news. Obviously, and I bring this up every Let's Talk, I like, my. you guys might not know this, I like Minecraft. I know. Issue is, I like a very distinct play style of Minecraft. That is, and I say like, my favorite type of play style with Minecraft is one mod it into multiplayer. Therefore, Java servers are Java multiplayer servers. So, we've been trying to go with that. Issue is, it's difficult because there is not as many players on the Java edition that, one, there's not as many players. Two, there's not as many players that have good enough PCs to play mod packs. And then it's also, I think it's kind of harder to find people in Java, but that's just me. That's just my opinion, I guess. So it, it created a little bit of difficulty, to be honest. I did, um, I, so like my like my closest attempts, I've had people join modded worlds, but then never actually stay. The most recent attempt, I think, was one with Nadeb, and surprisingly, Nadeb could actually play the world, but Vaxi couldn't. Vaxi's computer was just that bad. To the point now, now Vaxi's computer is actually he doesn't have a computer anymore. I told him to try factory reset his computer to see if it would make his computer faster. He did that, and during that process, his computer, like, he said that it started smoking, and now it won't turn on. His computer was so bad that it could not handle a factory reset. That boy downloaded some malware or something. <laughs> God damn. But, so that's what ended up happening. I asked, I, our, um, I recommended to him that he gets a new one for Christmas. Because as he, uh, I sound like an old man here, but everybody who's a teenager slash older can agree with me that as you get older, not having a decent PC is something that's going to get more and more and more annoying just for multiple reasons. Like, all right, for one, obviously gaming reasons, you know, you, you're, you're, the selection of games you can play is very limited where you can play almost any game on PC. Even if there's a game on that's only on console, you can still get it on a PC like for example, um, like through I mean it's illegal. Well, kind of. It's not like it's it's hard to enforce the legality of it. But 
Like for example, I can play Nintendo Switch games on this computer. Uh, I all I have to do is go download an emulator, and then go to a certain website to download games, and I can fucking play Mario Odyssey, even though it's only available on Switch. That's just the good thing about PCs, and I can also play games from fucking sixty years ago. Like I've made obviously the major ma the Majora's Mask series and stuff like that. I like through a PC, I have access to almost every game ever made, and uh, that will ever be made. So it's better than a console. <laughs> um, I'm not held back like that. And then also there's a lot more deals on Steam than there is on like PlayStation Store and Xbox Store. Steam is constantly having deals where you can get like a $60 game for 10 bucks. I literally got three games because Bethesda had a sale. I got three games that are like alone would be $60, $30 for I think like $20, $20, $30. I got Skyrim, um, Fallout 4, and Fallout New Vegas all for like 20 bucks. It was crazy. Uh, and then I played Skyrim a bit. And I bought an orphan a house and then I stopped playing Skyrim <laughs> and then I played a little bit of Fallout 3 got bored of that anyway I think that led on a big tangent but yeah so then Vaxi could never really play because his computer was just that bad even though Nadeb could but I think I think Nadeb got bored after a while that's just sucks I, I well to be honest he, st he started to slow down playing and then I got a dragon and then he stopped playing <laughs> I think he just felt so far behind at that point I don't know that's just my two cents anyway this is like a really long let's talk for what I'm trying to say but, so yeah, I've always tried to make a kind of Java thing, and it never really worked out. Am I going to go back to Bedrock? No, that's still not the plan quite yet. However, I kind of thought to myself, I had a thinking session to myself, why am I trying to create my own server instead of joining somebody else's? I'm, I'm creating a server and asking people to join mine. Why don't I check first to see if there's any servers that are compatible with what I'm trying, like my play style that I'm trying to go for, and join their servers. Um, and it, and it kind of got to a thing of like, well, why don't I do that? Because like, that's like the actual question I kind of asked myself, why would somebody who wants that kind of play style, instead of searching out first or preferring to search out, then why, why would they make their own server? And I came to the conclusion I'm not saying that this is really what I wanted, but kind of just what happens, like as, as a natural cause. They want an unfair advantage. Two for two major reasons. For one, you're the server owner, so if you die or somebody some something somebody does something that's bad, you get to ban them, even though no rules distinct. Whatever. Point is, you like whether you admit it or not, you have higher powers in that server than anybody else, just because you're the server owner. I'm not saying that just because you're the server owner, you're going to abuse that power, but the fact that you have the option, everybody kind of interacts with you differently. That's one. And two, that's an unfair advantage. You also get a head start. If you're making the server and you play on it first before the server gets popular, you get that unfair advantage of being first. And if you put like the most time into it, you can, you know, you'll be first. You'll have the most progression. Compared to if you're joining a server, you have the least progression on the server because you're the newest until the next newest comes along. So you start in a way better place. And I think that's why a lot of people, not just me, try to start their own servers before looking at other servers. So I actually did try to look for other servers instead of committing to the epidemic of everybody, like a, let's say 100 people making 100 servers instead of 100 people just playing on one server. So I actually did seek out um, a server, and I found one called Ancient Kingdom. Okay, it's very weird. Let me pull this up on my phone very quickly. So I don't think I even played this one with like Vaxi or Nadeb or anything. I kind of played it by myself, and I actually did meet somebody on that server that I played the server with for a little while, and he joined and everything like that. But then I obviously, of course, stopped playing after a while. I kind of not really got bored of it. Got, got a little bit bored of it, but... Because there was some bullshit with, with the server itself that I didn't like. But anyway, what I'm trying to say is, a, which was unfortunate, because that guy was actually pretty cool. He came on a lot, played a lot, everything like that. But the server kind of died. They actually did die. So yeah, I played on it a while, and then I actually went to play with Nadeb and Vaxi, which they didn't join that one. I can't remember why they didn't join the... the. Alright, first of all, okay. This is what's complex. So it's called the Kinetic Network. But the Kinetic Network is the name of the group that owns multiple servers. So, for example, they don't just own the, and it's called the Ancient, I think it's called Ancient Kingdom server. That's what the name of it is. And they have Ancient Warfare installed and a bunch of stuff like that. 
they also own like Horizon and Survive, Mystic, Sky Factory, um, Mystic, Nova, stuff like that. I don't know what any of those servers are. Obviously, I know what Sky Factory is, but I, I'm sure they're just different play styles of servers. So, Kinetic, what is it? What did I fucking say? Kinetic, yeah, Kinetic Network owns multiple servers, but then Ancient Kingdoms is the type of server that has the Ancient Warfare mod and stuff like that installed. So I was playing on Ancient Kingdoms, and it, it, it was cool because there actually was a player base. It was not that large, but at any given time, there'd at least be another, per at least one other person on, and you could teleport to them if you, like, accept the teleportation request and stuff like that. And they had a bunch of cool mods, like, again, Ancient Warfare, Horizon, Ice and Fire, but... Um, so it was pretty cool. Also, another thing that was cool is, like, I liked some of the config that the server had. Like, for example, the spawning of the dragon's lair and stuff was way down. You'd rarely ever hit one, and even if you did, it already would have been looted. So you'd never really encountered a dragon where, like, by default, you encounter them, like, every 200 blocks or something, and it kind of makes it unexplorable. Um, and then... I liked that part of the config, and I also liked the teleportation and stuff like that. One part of the config that I absolutely despised, though, was it broke the Ancient Warfare NPCs to the point where they, um... It's not that it was an overlapping mod. It was... It was a range thing. They wouldn't work unless I was, like, right next to them. Even if they were my render distance and I could see them, they wouldn't work. So I couldn't have good Ancient Warfare farms because I'd have to stand right next to the um, workers. So I didn't like that part of the config. I know why they did it. They did it to reduce lag. But either way, they needed they need to update the, like, they need to config that. Because, I like, they don't need to operate when I'm offline. They don't need that. But, like, if I'm in... If I'm two chunks away or even one chunk away, they should operate. Like, if I'm at my base, they need to operate if I'm not next to them. That's kind of the whole point. So I didn't like that sort of thing. I didn't like that place. I didn't like that config. Um, and also the server was a little bit dead. As I said, one player on at a time. Um, at peak, maybe there'd be five, maybe under ten. I don't even think they could fill up a bedrock world. It was kind of dead. But I guess having some players is better than no players. So th the other day I seeked it out again to see um, has it updated at all, and I figured out that it was actually gone. <laughs> they actually um, closed the server down. Now this was a kinetic network big thing where they closed down three of their servers. I, um, let's see if I can find like the post or something. Yeah, so they closed down three of them all at once. Um, I don't know how to spell ancient. Ancient kingdoms. Okay. So yeah, they actually closed down all three of them, which again, I was very upset about. Okay, yeah, here's what it was. Um, so the dude, like the main leader of the Connect Network said, that's all folks. Colony, Infinite, and Ancient Kingdoms. Uh, they ended all three of those. Um, All right, today. All right, this is. I'm. I'm gonna start reading the what the dude said. Today is the fifteenth, and this was the fifteenth of October. Today is the fifteenth, so this now marks the end of our kinetic network, Infinity into the unknown, kinetic network, Colony New Worlds, and kinetic network Ancient Kingdom server. The servers are now offline, and the chat channels will be locked later today. Um, there's more about the post, but. That's basically what just happened. It is very unfortunate that it, they closed down all three of those, but there is one good news about this all. It's uh, this whole let's talk has been kind of weird news, but there is one good news. They so the other two, the Infinity and Colonies, they're closing down completely, not coming back. However, Ancient Kingdoms is getting Ancient Kingdoms two now in beta testing and will be full overhaul of the pack along with jumping to 1.16.5 update for those who've enjoyed colony and infinite our new pack horizons should be a good replacement so ancient kingdom their ancient kingdom server is actually getting overhauled and moved to 1.16.5 which is the most recent one before 1.17 which i think is just caves and cliffs so basically all the way up to date just before caves and cliffs um, however, they said that that's in beta testing, and that was back in October. It's now November. So I don't know when they're going to release that, is the thing. 
Um, and that's like the most recent. They haven't posted anything since then. So I really don't know when it's going to come back. So basically, I'm trying to move my chair. Goddamn. So basically, what I'm trying to say is that I want to play on a mod at Minecraft server, and I wanted to go and look out for something else instead of just making my own. And I found that I was unable to because they're moving Ancient Kingdoms, but Ancient Kingdoms is currently down. Which, for one, I gotta be honest, this is just my personal opinion, that's kind of fucking stupid, right? That's just, again, I'm sorry that sounds really mean, but why would you close down the Ancient Kingdoms server before Ancient Kingdoms 2 was ready? Why wouldn't you keep it open work on Ancient Kingdoms 2, then when you're ready for Ancient Kingdoms 2, either update the server or start the new server, then close the old server down. Why would you close it first and then wait all the time until this new one, which they don't have a release date for, they just said that it's in beta testing. So here's what I'm kind of hoping for. I'm hoping that it could say they release this Ancient Kingdoms 2 server around December or around Christmas time. So that when Baxi gets his computer, he can play the server with me and we become OP and maybe we'll even be one of the first to play it and we can rise up ranks quickly. I don't know, but that's my hope. But um, it's November, <laughs> meaning for and that even that's just guessing that I hope that's a hope that it comes out in December. It might not. They might not even be working on it and they haven't posted it like about it since so I need something to play on in the meantime. I don't have anything lined up. I'm literally going to go search after this video because I'm bored and want to play Minecraft now, but I wanted to make this Let's Talk first. So in caption of this entire Let's Talk, moving in, th in like three months, two months, whatever that, however, yeah, three, three months, yeah, moving in three months and with my sister, not a lot of time to record. Um, want to make a Minecraft series with the same thing I've been doing where it's Ancient Warfare because I love that goddamn mod. Favorite, favorite game of all time. Um... Wanted to do it on the server, couldn't do it because they moved it. New server coming out, maybe, hope so by December. Want to play it with Vaxi, can't. In the meantime, need something to play in this 15 minute sums up. So, yeah, I hope you guys have enjoyed. If you have, please remember, I know it's, I know it's brief. Also, actually, I do want to bring up one more issue. Um, I would love to do live streams of Minecraft series. Like, for example, I made one where it was like a hard... I tried to do like a hardcore stream thing. That way, if I died, I didn't have to worry about making episode two. Uh, and as you guys saw through that, I literally fucking couldn't. My internet was just so bad that it kept disconnecting during the stream and ending the stream. So I literally can't even live stream. I, I, can, I probably can if I use my phone hotspot or something. But again, it is just so horrible to live stream. The internet is just that bad. It kept disconnecting and cutting out. And then I'd have to like restart it, the, the thing, and then switch over to data on my phone. It was just, it was a mess. So I, it's like I can't even live stream. It's horrible. Anyway, yeah. So I hope you guys have enjoyed. Please remember to share, like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Um, I most likely am going to make another Let's Talk on the 1st, December 1st. So yeah, I hope you guys have enjoyed. Mwah.